Brian and my business is the radio. Bonnie had got this eye surgery done. And if I asked him to start, he said, your mom gave him the, the word that, hey, you need to get your eyes fixed. <laughs> Remember that happening in Augusta where, there was, where, where your mom set him, set him on the right path, I guess? Yeah, we've been talking to him about that for years. I think I was talking to my brother yesterday. He said when he was watching the game, it was actually weird to see Monty not squinting. <laughs> so, yeah, it is crazy to see him not squinting as much. But we've been talking about that with him for years. <laughs> it's really crazy how, like, a parent, like, he's a parent, but it took a parent of a parent to, to, to get him to, to do that, particularly your mom. Yeah, that kind of influence? Yeah, I mean, you can see. <laughs> are we all parents? <laughs> One that's though about about Dario and him getting his first opportunity is now with Cam uh, having the injury, Dario may even get more opportunity. So where is that? How do you feel about the way he played the other night? Man, I'm glad um, I haven't played with Dario since my first year here. You know what I mean? He missed all last season, and uh, that's what camp is for. You know what I mean? It's preseason games are for a reason. You know. I guess when you're in the league for a while, you remember when people didn't overreact in preseason games, but now, you know, everybody, it is what it is, but that's that's what the preseason games are for, for everybody to get their legs under them and to get back to uh, that playing shape. And, you know, Dario is such a big piece of our team, and the more the more reps he can get, I think the better for all of them. With the finger injury for campaign, you guys have Landry and Dwayne running a bit of the offense and you weren't out there. What did you make of the way they played? Uh, in the game? Yeah, Landry and Dwayne. Uh, I mean, Landry's been here, so, you know, we expect it. Uh, for for D-Wash, uh, I'm excited for him. You know, it's, it's league about opportunities, you know, and so I think uh, he's going to get a chance to, to play some now. And he's a really good player, a smart player. But, you know, our team, since I've been here, has been about the whole, about the whole group, about not one individual so. Over the course of the season, things happen. You always got to have next man up, and uh, I think we'll be ready. One of the things that um, I was talking to Angelo about the Dean Kim, he said that he came to OKC to see you because that's where you guys were playing because of Katrina. It brought New Orleans. It brought you guys to OKC. Remember that conversation you had with him that first? No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. But. Uh, I actually talked to uh, Jerry maybe a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago. I think all those relationships and bonds that were formed will never change, especially with Jerry, because everybody will watch the Redeem team, and I'm sure they'll probably talk about 04, that like USA team. But our team in 06, that was after my rookie year when I got a chance to play. And we lost the world championships. We lost to Greece. I think that's what really made us hungry, too, for 08. So. I'm excited to see the Redeem team doc too, because uh, I haven't seen it, you know, anything of it. And anytime you're in something, you know, you're interested you to see. Rough yeah, yeah, I, I, I want to know what I said, what, what I did, <laughs> anything, you know. So it, it's been a long time, but a great, a lot of great memories. He did also, he, he said that, hey, you were excited about it. But then he, he was talking about in 08 that you guys had a potential situation in Beijing and y'all were on the bus. And y'all were riding to get the potential picks, and he said that he was talking about you and the future that you would play on multiple Olympic teams. So I'm going to see your face. I'm going to assume you don't remember that conversation either. I mean, you, you got to think about it, man. There's so many different conversations we were having at the time. You know, I can I can tell you about things of 08, things 2012. That's why, you know, we all probably remember certain things. You know, I think 08, great game. I think I went to go see Roger Federer play. Oh, and I got a bunch of pictures and stuff, you know, from that. Um, but yeah, so it's a lot of great memories. And that's why I said, like, I'm interested to see it too. Because a lot of things you, you sometimes don't recall until you talk to someone else that was that was there and a part of it. But uh, i never forget after we won the gold medal at 08 and how we celebrated and, and things like that and had to wake up the next morning and fly back home. Yeah, but I also remember 06 losing the world championships and none of us wanted to come back home, <laughs> you know? So 
a lot of, a lot of great memories there. You mentioned Federer. Uh, that's such a unique opportunity for an athlete like you to see the top athletes and everything. Is did Federer stick out the most for you out of what you got to go watch? Was there anything else? That um, you? Oh wait, I mean, 2008 we did that. 2012, me and Russ was together pretty much the whole time with that Olympics, and we was going to see. We went to go see volleyball. You know, I remember we went. Uh, we actually helped. Uh, what was it? Uh, what's her name? Uh, Misty. Uh, can't think of her name. Misty we, May. Misty May. That's yeah. what I was about to say. Misty May. Carrie Walsh, I think. And Carrie Walsh. Yep. Yeah. Misty May and Carrie Walsh. Uh, we actually helped them warm up for one of their games. <laughs> hey, beat our ass. <laughs> we, yeah. So. Chris, those are some off court memories. What What is your game basketball memory like? Like, how much do you remember? every game you've been in or big games, or big plays within games? A lot. It's pretty good. Like, you know how, like, Peyton Manning has that mm -hmm. incredible memory, and there's some people that have that. I don't know where you fall on that, like, how much you can really remember your entire career, but it's just random. I can remember most of it, actually, yeah. Yeah. Chris, there were two rule changes that already came up in the preseason for you guys. There was the take foul and then the bench celebration as mm -hmm. well. What are your thoughts on those changes and just seeing them uh, incorporated? Uh, it's going to be something that everybody sort of has to get a little bit used to, you know, just like with everything else. Um, I think it's going to be a little balanced. The take foul is going to be interesting. Um, the bench thing is a little iffy here and there, so we're going to see. I had that look like what you call him. I guess it's a that's like a judgment. That's sort of. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I got. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Sorry.